Children's Healing Scotland work with 2,500 specially selected and trained volunteer panel members drawn from communities across Scotland. These volunteers come from all walks of life, just like you. Panel members take part in children's hearings. Their role is to listen and make legally binding decisions with and for infants, children and young people. They're there to ensure that young people are at the heart of every decision made because every decision, no matter how big or small, has a real impact. Let's hear from panel members across Scotland on why they choose to volunteer. I chose to volunteer because I was keen to commit to regularly volunteering in my community, doing something I felt passionate about. So for someone who feels strongly about children's rights, the children's panel was the answer. My own children are older now and it left me with a bit of spare time. I decided to look into the children's panel and took up their training programme. I must say it's been one of the most challenging things I've done in recent years, but I could honestly say it's been one of the most rewarding. Panel members make up a diverse section of the community. So this is a great way of meeting other people in the wider community, with different ages, different backgrounds and different ethnicities. Growing up in the healing system myself, it gave me a fierce passion to make sure that each and every interaction with the children's healing system is as positive and conducive as possible. I chose to volunteer because I feel that every child in Scotland deserves to have equal opportunity to grow up feeling safe, protected and secure, no matter where you come from or your background. It's truly inspiring to hear some of the stories and motivations for these volunteer panel members. What a fantastic way to provide help and support within the community. Today, I've come to meet panel members Stephen Haggerty and Claire McCluskey to find out more about what's involved as a volunteer. So, hi Stephen, hi Claire. Uh, Claire, can you tell me a little bit about how you first got involved with volunteering? I first got involved seven years ago. I got involved because as a child, I too came to a panel. Now I sit on panels, making decisions for young people that need extra support. As a youngster, um, I've been through the whole panel process that a lot of these kids and young people are living through at the moment. I felt that from my, my own experience and having made it uh, and made something good in my life with the support of everyone around me in this system, I felt it was a passion of mine to give something back, to give these kids and young people the chance that they deserve that I got. Claire, why is being a volunteer panel member so important to you? It is so fulfilling, it is so rewarding and it's important because there is children and families out there that need extra support and I like taking part in the, the decisions that offer that extra support when it's needed. Talk to us a little bit about the training and support that you received. Training for me uh, was uh, an initial seven days uh, when you uh, are su successful and you, you become a, a panel member where I did um, sort of individual uh, Saturdays in Glasgow um, for a period and then once you're successful with that, there's modules uh, you do at home. If you need the support, any support that you're looking for, it is 100% available and it's only at the end of your phone, on an app, if you need it. And if that's not enough, you can email, you can phone, they, they are very approachable people. And if you've got a problem, they will 100% help you sort that problem. What kind of difference do you think that Children's Healing Scotland and you as a panel member make in people's lives? A world without a children's healing system would be unthinkable for me. Um, there's kids and families out there that need support, really need support, and if it wasn't available, then what would happen to the kids and families? They come here when it's crisis point, and we hope that we can support them and get them through that crisis, out the other side, being the best possible family unit that they can be. How does it make you feel? It makes me feel I've done something worthwhile. It makes me feel very fulfilled. It makes me feel like, like I, I couldn't imagine 
no being a panel member. It will be one of the most rewarding things you will ever do in your life to help the people in your community when they need that help. It's, it's, it's very satisfying. So, what would you say to someone that's thinking about signing up as a volunteer and they're unsure at the moment, Steve, what would you say to them? If you want to be passionate about something, if you want to volunteer and make the biggest difference to a child or young person's life, I would say that the way to do that is to get involved with the panel system. Let's find out more about Children's Hearing Scotland from CEO Elliot Jackson. Hi Elliot, um, I was wondering if you could tell us why volunteers are so important for Children's Hearing Scotland. Across Scotland in our communities there are around 15,000 infants, children and young people and their families who need our help. Panel members provide uh, a service whereby they can help and support those families, uh, achieve better outcomes through access to resources etc. These panel members make really, really important and often life-changing decisions to support these families, so it's a huge role. Scotland is very, very proud of our system and very, very proud of panel members. And to have a good, strong, committed group of panel members is exactly what we need to run the service and to help. What about attributes like for a panel member? We're reaching out across Scotland to ensure we get a broad mix and diverse range of panel members. And I think it's important that for qualities such as listening, important to listen to the child, listen to the, to, to the family and other professionals about what's going on in that hearing. I think it's important that we are compassionate, we're caring. I think you need to be committed because we do ask a lot of you. We ask you to do training, we ask you to attend your panel, so you need to be committed. But I suppose most importantly, it's about empathy. And I think, again, when you're working with children and young people in a hearing, if you can connect with that person, you can understand where they're coming from. So a sense of walking a mile in their shoes and they can understand that and you can recognise where they are. I think that's hugely powerful. And panel members that I've seen can use these skills to great effect and it really helps that child or young person get a great outcome. So empathy uh, would be my key one. We don't want you to be the final article now. We will help you, we will support you, we will guide you. And I think that's a really important point. You don't have to be the final article to join Children's Hearing Scotland as a panel member. To someone that's thinking about signing up, but they're just unsure, what would you say to them? If you're sitting back and you want to improve the lives of infants, children, young people and their families in the communities in Scotland, that's something you're committed to, then let's do this. If you've got the skills and qualities and attributes that I've outlined that you want to do that, that you want to use in a different place, do it with us. And lastly, I suppose, if you want to make a difference, we want Scotland to, to be the best place for children and young people to grow up. So I'd like you to become part of that. There you have it. What a powerful story. And we invite you to become one of our valued volunteers. Why don't you give up your time to help keep children safe in your community, whilst meeting new people who genuinely care and broadening your awareness and skill set? To find out more today, visit Children's Hearing Scotland's website. Finally, I'll leave you with some last thoughts from volunteer panel members. Panel members are ordinary people who are trained extensively to allow them to make sure that the child is at the centre of every single hearing that the family understand what's happening by cutting through the jargon and speaking plain English to them, to make sure that we make decisions always based on their best interests, and this is the difference we make in their lives. Unfortunately, many children across Scotland find themselves in challenging situations through no fault of their own. They need people to be able to listen to all of the facts and make decisions to improve their life and that's why I would encourage people to volunteer. If you're looking to contribute to your community and help support children and young people, then you should consider being a panel member. Mm -hmm.